Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. In today's episode, we delve into NVIDIA's rare downgrade and the full valuation by New Street. We'll discuss the EU tariffs hitting Chinese EV makers and Bitcoin's 6.5% weekly drop as MT Gox begins repayments. We'll also cover SunPower's plunge following an auditor resignation and SEC subpoena disclosure, along with Mario Gabelli's potential non-sale of stock in the Paramount Skydance merger proposal. Stay tuned for our watch list featuring stocks like DFS, DJT, and more this Friday. Hear what J.P. Morgan's Lake has to say about customers potentially paying for bank accounts and Tesla's trading surge due to state vehicle purchases in Shanghai. Lastly, we'll hear from Goldman Sachs Pasquarillo on expected market breadth broadening. Don't go anywhere right after this short ad break. We'll dive deeper into these headlines. New Street Research, located in London, has changed its rating for NVIDIA from buy to neutral, stating that the stock is now fully valued. However, Wall Street maintains a positive outlook on NVIDIA, with 41 out of 54 analysts giving it a strong buy rating. New Street continues to back other AI infrastructure stocks, including Advanced Micro Devices, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Broadcom, and Micron Technology. Stocks in Chinese electric vehicles have taken a hit following the European Union's decision to enforce immediate tariffs on all battery electric vehicles originating from China. This action comes on the heels of a nine-month probe by the EU, which revealed that Chinese manufacturers were reaping significant benefits from hefty government subsidies, thereby creating an unjust market advantage. These tariffs may potentially trigger reciprocal actions from China against European exports. The value of Bitcoin has seen a decrease of 6.5% this week, plunging under $60,000. This is attributed to the payout procedures set in motion by the now defunct Japanese exchange, MT Gox. The downward trend persisted as the German Federal Criminal Police transferred over $75 million to cryptocurrency exchanges. Additionally, MT Gox has commenced repayment to its creditors in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, amounting to approximately $9 billion worth of tokens. SunPower experienced a drop in shares by 18.2% subsequent to Ernst & Young stepping down as its auditor. This resignation was triggered by allegations of executive misconduct. In February, the Securities and Exchange Commission issued a subpoena to SunPower concerning accounting irregularities, which included revenue recognition practices for the results of 2023. Currently, SunPower is undergoing an internal review with the assistance of independent advisors. This action follows their need to revise two years' worth of financial results and implement leadership changes. Mario Gabelli, a billionaire investor, might hold onto his shares in Paramount even if a merger with Skydance takes place. This information comes from the New York Post. Gabelli is a significant voting shareholder in National Amusements, Paramount's holding company. He thinks that this deal could be advantageous for minority shareholders. The proposed merger does not need approval from shareholders who are not part of the Redstone family and seems to be financially beneficial. However, Gabelli is interested in potential discussions between Sherry Redstone and David Zoslov, the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery. On Friday, United States stocks saw fluctuations as investors digested a varied non-farm payrolls report. Discover Financial is in the process of settling allegations related to credit card misclassification, with the settlement costs being covered by its liability fund worth $1.2 billion. Amazon stock experienced a slight increase as it contributes to Hudson's Bay Company's acquisition of Neiman Marcus for $2.65 billion, leading to the formation of Saks Global Luxury Retail Group. Shares in Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer NIO fell by 3% following the resignation of Chief Financial Officer Stephen Wei Fong, who has been succeeded by Stanley Yu Chu. Trump Media and Technology Group saw a retreat of 2% after announcing asset acquisitions for an upcoming TV streaming service and securing long-term equity financing for its expansion. Marianne Lake, the CEO of Consumer and Community Banking at J.P. Morgan Chase, has issued a warning to customers. She suggests that they may need to start paying for services that were previously offered free of charge. This is due to new regulations which limit overdraft and late fees. 
In response to these rules, the bank is considering implementing these charges as everyday banking could become more costly. Shares in Tesla have seen an increase following news that state-owned entities in Shanghai are buying Model Y crossovers. This action is a part of Shanghai's initiative to ensure equal treatment for both domestic and foreign companies. As a result, Tesla vehicles have been added to a local government purchase list. Industry analysts believe this could indicate a potential recovery in Tesla's business operations within China. Forecasts from Goldman Sachs suggest a diminishing earnings growth advantage for the S&P 500's largest companies through to 2026. The top five stocks, namely Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, and Meta experienced an annual earnings growth of 57% in 2023. This is in contrast to the S&P median of just 4%. Projections for this year indicate a rate of 37% for these tech behemoths and a median of 6% for the S&P. By the year 2026, it is anticipated that these figures will align more closely with an estimated growth rate around 13% for large cap stocks and approximately a median of about 9% for the S&P. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead, until next time. Keep thriving in your financial journey. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. It's been a pleasure until we meet again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.